Welcome back to Quick Cuts, where every second counts in your laser engraving and CNC business. In this series, I'm gonna take you through my best laser and CNC tips in five minutes or less. In today's Quick Cut, I'll be going over how to design and create a layered Easter tag. We're gonna be designing in Lightburn and we're gonna be going over image tracing, offsets, and text editing. I'll also be giving some gluing and assembly tips. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we need to do for this project is grab some free artwork just to get started. So I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm just gonna run a Google search of free Easter Bunny SVG. We'll switch this to images. Okay, so I like this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to their site and buy this SVG. It is free on this site for personal use. So that means I can use it for myself or to give away to friends and family. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to buy a commercial license if you wanna end up selling this design. But for my purposes, I'm gonna be using this as some gifts. So I'm gonna use the free option and download that. And now that I've downloaded the free SVG, I'm gonna go into Lightburn and click on File, Import, I'm gonna import it as an SVG. Now, if you find a file that may not come in an SVG format, let me show you how to import that. So again, we're gonna to go to File, Import. In this case, I'm gonna select the PNG version. So this differs because it's gonna come into the project as a PNG as one image file. Right click on the PNG, click on Trace Image, and this will bring up the Image Trace function. Now you're gonna to wanna to play with the cutoff and the threshold sliders. In this case right now, it's not gonna be tracing anything, so I'm gonna start with my threshold and I'm gonna bring this up. This is what it's actually gonna trace. So you wanna play with these sliders until you get the best possible trace that you can for an image. That looks pretty good right there. You can see it is only picking up these three bunnies, but that's okay. I'm kinda of looking at this first one here. I only need one. So I'm gonna click okay on this one, delete the PNG, ungroup these three bunnies and delete two of them. And now we have a vector line drawing of the bunny rabbit. Change this to black so we can see it better. I'm gonna ungroup my design because I wanna move this tail away. The first thing that I'm gonna do is create an offset. I'm gonna go over here to the O offset button, click on that, and I wanna do an inward offset at about an eighth of an inch. I want this as big as possible. I don't want this piece to be like really skinny because then it's gonna make it hard to glue on. I'm gonna copy this and paste it. And on my first design, I'm going to delete my offset line that I made. So now we have two pieces of this Easter tag. On the left here, we have a solid cutout, which is gonna be our backer. And on the right here, this is gonna be our layered overlay piece. And of course, we have the tail as well. Okay, now to add text. Insert a text box. I'm gonna type in my name. I'm gonna move this down out of the way and zoom in. So this text looks pretty good, but we need to alter it a little bit so it's more workable. If I cut it out the way it is, each one of these letters would be cut out individually. This R here would be cutting out into the E, so you'd have a space there, and the E, would be overlapping into the T, which would create a space there. We don't want that. So we're gonna right click on the text. We're gonna click convert to path. This is gonna separate every single line and every single part of this text. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my entire B shape. I am going to drag this over closer to the R so it's actually touching, it's overlapping here, because I want this piece to be all one shape connected together. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of our lines here and we're gonna click on the weld button. And that is gonna put this all together. It's gonna to regroup it so it is one shape. So now we're looking even better, but I want to do one more thing to this. I'm gonna click on my text again. I'm gonna click on our offset button again. This time I wanna offset outward and I'm gonna offset this 0 0.01 and I'm gonna delete my original text. So now we've just thickened up the lines in our text by 0 0.01 inches. That's gonna give us even more surface area on this text in order to glue this onto our back. I always recommend doing that as much as you can whenever you're gluing on small pieces. Next thing we're gonna do is move our text onto our front bunny outline shape. I'm gonna increase the size so that way it fits into the lower part of the bunny. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to connect my text with my outline. So I wanna make sure that parts of the text are actually touching the outline. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna be connected here, 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 and then on the T. This is gonna be different for every name. You're just gonna have to play around with it. Okay, so now to connect these two together, I'm gonna to click on my name, hold down shift and click on the outline. Then I'm gonna go over to my weld options. I'm gonna click on the Boolean union of two shapes. So now I have one outline shape welded together. That can be layered on top of my background piece. And that is our completed design. We have our backing. We have our front layered piece with the name, and then we have our tail. What I'm gonna do with the tail is I'm gonna move it into my layered piece. This is gonna be cut out of a solid piece. This is all waste material here in the center of the bunny, so I might as well use it for something. All right, let's send this to the laser and cut it out. 
Remember, if you're liking the video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more laser and CNC content, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. So as you can see, this is a pretty delicate part. Even after I've increased the thickness of the name here, you can imagine how much more fragile it would be if I would have left that the original thickness. You could apply regular glue or super glue, CA glue to the back of our front piece here and glue it together like so. In this case, I do not like to use that method though because of how thin the line here that I have to actually apply glue. So the chances that I'm gonna get squeeze out are pretty high in this case. So here's what I like to do. I'm gonna use 3M Super 77 spray adhesive. Next thing we have our little tail. We go ahead and pop that onto the back. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of rubbing alcohol just on the burn marks here, and then we'll hit it with a little bit of finish and we'll be all done. Short on time, big on value. That's the motto of Quick Cuts. If you enjoyed today's tips or have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Until next time, Keep crafting.